Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick look at two hard drives that I purchased that I believe are ideal for anyone looking for mass storage at the highest quality, especially if you plan on using these drives in a network attached storage device. So I've got Western Digital 20 terabyte uh, red pro drives these have five-year warranties 7200 rpm drives 512 meg cache and they really are one of the best options in my opinion uh, dollar per gigabyte that you can get on the market and there are only a few that i would really even uh, entertain this being my first choice uh, when entrusting large i should say copious amounts of data to any particular manufacturer. So uh, these are specifically aimed at NAS use. These are not meant to be just for archival purposes, so they're ready for active action, uh, you know, read-write access on a regular basis. That's essentially what the NAS rating is all about, as opposed to a traditional archival drive, uh, like what you would find in something like a traditional 20 terabyte external Western Digital Easy Store drive. Um, you know, that's, that it's just something to be aware of. And sometimes those drives can be the same just because early runs of production for largest storage uh, capacities like the 20 terabyters when they did launch, a lot of the drives that were being used even in external solutions were the same. I'm not saying they were Red Pro drives, but those of you that know what I'm talking about, well, you know, and those who don't, you just got a clue into the first run production a lot of times when it comes to highest end uh, me mechanical, at least, storage drives. So uh, let's go ahead and crack one of these open. And uh, I purchased these from Newegg. I'll include a link in the description. These were not uh, furnished to me by the manufacturer. And I don't even have to use a knife. We have our good old pull tab. And I've got my A1 here and my HDV deck. And the reason I have those, looks like I didn't accomplish this as planned, is because those are just some of the examples of what is filling my drives. It's like I should start a, uh, a segment. What's on my drive or what's filling the drive. Uh, don't get that twisted, by the way. So, you know, when we're talking about raw stills from a camera that shoots 30 frames per second that aren't averaging at 10, 20, sometimes 30 megabytes, but they're mostly closer to the 50 megabyte range, uh, you need this sort of storage. I mean, you've got to start to realize that that's just one step. Get into the video. The A1 is capable of what my FX3 that I'm filming this on now, which is 4K at pretty much any bit rate uh, that Sony has to offer. And then it even goes to 8K30, uh, making it a bona fide 8K camcorder, granted overheating and some other things. I'm not going to stabilization. Those are all issues. Uh, but this is about the drive. This is where 20 terabytes, it's a realistic option. Uh, for archiving all of the data from my channel. I haven't done the best job. You know, I try to back up everything as best as possible, but it's time to clean house, so to speak. It's not really spring cleaning, but it could be. Uh, it's kind of over at this point. So, you know, that's something to, you know, just food for thought. I mean, my videos here on the channel average anywhere from 10 to 20 gigs a pop. And they add up pretty quickly. I'm, I think I'm not that far from 2,000 uploads. Granted, I started 4K content when it was possible, which was back in, I think, 2012. It's hard to believe over a decade of 4K content and cable providers still don't deliver native 4K. But anyway, so uh, easy to fill it up. And then I've got this HDV deck over here, which is just, it's amazing how that thing looks like it's crispy, brand new 2023 gear almost. Uh, Sony ahead of their time back in the early two, well, mid 2000s when they launched this. I think it was somewhere. It might have been this latest 2008. Um, but anyway, uh, but this is designed to take HDV tapes uh, like these guys right here, uh, which you know before we had digital, pure digital formats, we were still using tapes. And uh, so this is 60 minutes of. 1080i content. It's not really true 1080i. We're not getting into that now, but I can take that, throw that into this deck. I'll put it over HDMI. Yes, you could do that with a camcorder too if you have a working one, but this is just, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's a video for another time. And that's going to be, you know, pretty beefy stuff on a raw capture. Yes, I can 
you know, try to play with the capture settings, but still capturing uh, raw HD content off of an HDMI out on this machine and then porting it over to here, well, you could kiss this drive goodbye pretty quickly depending on the number of tapes you have. So you get the idea. Um, there are less expensive options. Uh, Seagate has um, probably the only other drive that I would turn to in a similar class. Um, but yeah, this is where it's at. So safe bet if you're uh, planning on, again, uh, investing in quality storage, uh, for an as, this is a good way to go. Uh, it is going to be a little bit on the noisy side. Nothing crazy, though, for a 20 terabyte uh, with so many platters like this. It's to be expected. These are not generally silent drives. That's a, a discussion for another time. But uh, I can highly recommend it. That's why I bought it. It's not my first dance uh, with Red Pros. In this capacity, it is, but... You can read the feedback uh, out there, and I, of course, will be updating on the performance uh, with the QNAP uh, NAS that I'll be throwing them in. I'm just excited to finally get these into uh, what I perceive as a NAS worth uh, investing this sort of uh, coin in, and I continue to build that out, uh, which will be a, a series of videos, I feel, not just a review over time, that I'll give updates based on how great an interest there is in delving into storage solutions here uh, on the channel. But that pretty much rounds things out. Again, I can easily recommend this even though I just opened it, unless of course I have a catastrophic failure, but that's why we've got redundancy folks, always have redundancy. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.